Whether you've watched Inuyasha, Naruto, Pokemon or anime for more than two weeks of your life, you'll have found some sort of nine-tailed fox. What's with that? Hey guys, this is Spamedia and today we're going to be talking about the nine-tailed beast, the fox spirit, the Kitsune Yuki. But before we can go to the anime side, I think it's best to understand the lore a little bit. Surprisingly, unlike most of the Shinto mythology, this myth actually originates in China. It was only later that it spread to all of Eastern Asia. The Kitsune is a yuki, an apparition or demon from Asian mythology. It's a familiar spirit as it's closely tied to human fate, but don't let that fool you, they're all about their mischief, and if you were to ever encounter one, it could help you find your way when you're lost, or it could lead you into a torturous trap. There are two classifications of Kitsune, the traditional Kitsune, which when translated literally means good fox, or the Yaku, also known as Nogetsune, being translated to field or wild fox. When it comes to the Shinto faith, they're closely associated with the Nari, the gender neutral god of rice, but when connected to Naruto I think that's the funniest thing. I like to imagine an Nari from the original art growing up in Shupiden and he's some sort of sexually ambiguous teenager who's best friends with Kurama. When it comes to Akitsune's tail, there are great debate whether it can have unlimited amounts of tails or just nine. But one thing is for sure, the more tails that Akitsune has, the more powerful and wise the fox is. It's also reflective of its age. This ties in nicely with Naruto's tailed releases that we've seen throughout the show, but it also ties in nicely with Inuyasu's shippu, which has fewer tails because it's a younger fox. Now Kitsune are well-known shapeshifters. It's a learned skill that can take up to a hundred years to master, but it is a very powerful trait. They most commonly transform into beautiful women, much like when Naruto uses his sexy nojutsu, but it can transform into anybody really. They've also been known to be able to have children with humans. These children are granted supernatural abilities. Now hear me out on this one, this one's a little bit of a theory. Now in Naruto, the nine-tailed fox is part of the ten tails. Ten tails is an embodiment of Kagaya. Kagaya is a source of humans using chakra. That chakra ability has been passed down through generations, and the supernatural abilities granted to the children of Kitsune are also passed down through many generations. So hypothetically, this fits in with the origin stories of chakra within Naruto. Another way that Kitsune connect to Karama is that the Kitsune have a possession technique. This technique is called Kitsune Soki. It literally translates into the state of being possessed by a fox. Originally, I know. Now, ignoring the part where the foxes tend to possess young women through their nipples, the fox would possess its victims, most likely young girls, <laughs> and cause women to take the facial expressions and elements of a fox. And if you look at Naruto's whiskers, and you look at the fact that the past two Jinchurikis of the Ninetale Beast have been women, except for Naruto, then this fits in with the show pretty well. Although, I do think it's self explanatory why they swapped out the nip slip for the belly piercing. Now, the possessed victim is known to grow tails known as Hashinotama, which are un shaped orbs, glowing with Kitsunebi, which are reddish orange flames, much like Naruto's original tail releases. But the Hoshi no Tama is known to serve another purpose. When a Kitsune changes shape, the Hoshi no Tama holds the magical power of the tailed fox, much like Naruto's tails hold the excess chakra, whilst Naruto f transforms into the nine-tailed beast. If you're actually able to capture some of these Hoshi no Tamas, you're able to extract a favour from the Kitsune, obviously on the Hoshi no Tama's return. This is closely connected to when Naruto extracts the chakra from Kurama, in order for Kurama to fight with them. Obviously in the show, Kurama started to like Naruto, but I think the mythology still stands. But I think that's where I'm going to end it today, guys. If you want more Shinto origins, let me know in the comments down below. I always appreciate a like and a subscribe. Hopefully next week I'm going to have a special video out for you guys. I've been talking to PG Express, and we might be doing a collaboration. I won't give out too many spoilers, but why don't you go and check out his channel? He's a really cool YouTuber. He does a lot of Dragon Ball Z videos. A few gamers out there, he does a lot of gaming videos. Hit him up, tell him Spam Media sent you, and I'll see you guys next time.